All right, so we're going to do, let's do cotangent now. And I'm going to mess it all up. So I'm going to say y equals negative 2. Oof. What's that going to do? Um, cotangent. Let's do um, theta plus pi over 4. And I'm like out of room. Let's do a uh, plus 2. Okay, so I've got all sorts of things happening here. So do you see, let's uh, start amplitude. There isn't one because it's cotangent. Period. Okay, so the period, I would look right here. Does anything change the period? It does not. The period is pi for a cotangent because we're going like from here to here. So it's just a pi. It does have a phase shift. Now, since there's a one there, I can just say it's left uh, pi over four. I don't have to like divide that pi over four by anything. Vertical shift up two. So that means my midline is going to be at uh, y equals two. Okay, so like, I'm just going to go midline right there. Okay, so like my center point is going to be there. Now, as I look at cotangents, uh, cotangent in general goes like this, okay? It's got an asymptote at zero and pi. That's really nice. I like the zeros because um, it just, like, I'm going to start there. And if I have to shift, I totally can. Okay, so it shifts and it goes left, pi over four. So um, originally, my asymptote would have been right here. Then, see this? I move it left, pi over four if you're like, ah, oh, that's hard for me. Well, watch this. I remember in the tangent, I, I knew that my original was at, it was at negative pi over 2 or positive pi over 2. Cotangents are right here. So I just can take that theta plus pi over 4 equals 0. And so minus pi over 4 minus pi over 4. Oh, that means that that uh, asymptote is right here. Now, because the, my, period didn't change, it's just um, pi. I can go, I knew it would have been a pi. And then I can move it one to the left because that's what it told me. I could also kind of do the same process right here. So I know that it would have been theta plus pi over four would have equal just regular pi. And then when I subtract that pi over four, subtract pi over four, that would be uh, three pi over four, which is, oh, look, that's where I've got it. Okay. And then I can just uh, go. So it would have been at 2 pi. So now it's here. So it's just like pi over 4 to the left of your um, whole pi. Now, I know that typically, so now I can just have, I know that my middle dot is in the middle. But I shifted it up to. So um, let's. Um, so it's right there. I want to make that bigger. So right here, and right here, and right here, and right here, and right there. Okay, now typically it would, um, I think for you it goes down like this, but I flipped it over. So because I flipped it over, it's actually going to go like this now because of that negative 2. And my point 1 out is going to be... Um, so it should have like gone negative, but now it's flipping over. So it's two down, two up, two down, two up, two down, two up, two down, two up, two down. Oh, that wasn't two down. There we go. And then, so I had all sorts of fun things. Isn't this great? Like, uh, this, you have done so much of this. You have shifted things up and left. What's different is the mother function looks a little bit different. And you've got some pies. But you can do hard things. There you go. That's a crazy cotangent that had a flip. And a vertical stretch. And a horizontal shift. Or a phase shift. Great work.